Hey there, so you might have seen uh, these prints on Reddit. These are pretty cool. They're just a single layer print, but they are multiple colors. Um, and I just want to show you guys how to do that real quick. So first you're going to want to find a good vector graphic. Um, I am going to use the Bills logo. I don't actually have a vector version of it, so I'm just going to convert a PNG of it. Uh, but I do recommend you look for things like coloring pages. These are really good because they're just pretty simple and you get to color them however you want with whatever filament you have. Um, if you also search for Cricut sticker SVGs, you can find a lot of these on Etsy. You do have to pay for them, but uh, they're pretty high quality. Uh, but anyway, if we go to an online converter website, we can just convert that uh, image into an SVG. I already downloaded it. And then we can bring it into Fusion 360. So we just have to create a new sketch on our bottom plane. Uh, do insert SVG, insert for my computer, and then select our SVG. Then it looks like nothing came in, but it's actually just really big. So you have to use this little curved line to scale it down. We'll bring it to about that big. Um, and you can just use the lines to align it with how big you want it. So here we have the SVG so we can finish the sketch. And now what we want to do is we just want to extrude each color individually. So first I'm going to extrude the red. So I'm just going to grab this and the distance is just going to be 0.2 because that's one layer thick and we'll do new body and click OK. Then our sketch disappeared so we're going to have to bring that back by just clicking the eyeball. Um, and then we can extrude the other colors. So next I'm going to do white. So this part is white and we'll do 0.2. We have to change this from join to new body so that they're not stuck together. Click OK. And then last part is we'll just do the blue. So it's the legs and the body. That's another 0 0.2. And then change it from join to new body. Click OK. And now we're done. So all we have to do is save this in Fusion 360, and then we can export it all in one file. So if we click Export and select STL file from the dropdown, we can do that. And it's just going to take a minute to export it. So just we'll give it a second. All right, so now that that's all completed, um, we can go into Bamboo Studio. And we can uh, add in our STL file. And it's all going to be the same color at first, and it's all going to be stuck together at first, but you have to right-click it, uh, go under Split to Parts, um, and now you get the individual parts. And then you just have to click on the uh, each file, and that's the part that you have to color. So this first part is red, and it's going to be the same order that you did it in Fusion 360. So I'm just going to do it's red, and then we did, oops, don't use the arrow keys like that. First is red, uh, then we did a white, and then we did the rest are blue. So now we can slice the plate, but I want the textured side to be facing right side up. So right now, the textured side on the plate is going to be upside down. So if we click on this and do lay on face, we can lay it on the top face, slice it, and now we have a, just one layer thick. Um, print. So let's go ahead and send it to the printer. And we'll see how it turns out. One of the things I forgot to mention about uh, getting files is that while Etsy is a great resource because some of the files are high quality, like um, they will split up the files or do special things so that you actually have a uh, good experience using them. Although a lot of brands will just make their brand guidelines public. So I would never pay a dollar for this one because you can literally go to Starbucks brand guidelines on Google, find their logo, and they just have their logo. And it's not just Starbucks. Like if you want the Purell brand guidelines, um, here we go. Purell product logo downloads. And we can download a PNG, JPEG, JPEG EPS that we can import directly into Inventor or um, Fusion 360. So whatever you want to do, any brand logos uh, that you find on Etsy, don't buy them because you can just get them for free. I also just want to go through some of my slicer settings because uh, these aren't actually the standard ones. Sometimes you can do ironing on the top layer, uh, the topmost surface, and that makes the both sides uh, shiny or textured. Um, then you can also change the wall generator to Arachne. This one actually makes a really big difference because it changes the line width. Uh, they ma it makes it variable during the print, uh, unlike the classic slicing engine. So it works really well for these smaller de details. Um, it does slow down for, it disables slowdown for overhangs, but 
uh, there are no overhangs in this model, so it doesn't matter. Uh, another thing is, if you want to get a little bit more layer squish, um, I would do a 0.16 millimeter layer height, so it'll be a little bit thinner. You might want to do two layers instead of one layer. But if we do this, then the layer squish just gets a little bit more squished down, so uh, it looks a little bit smoother, especially on the textured PEI plate. Another change you could make is changing the top and bottom surface patterns to concentric, especially with circular graphics. This makes a really huge difference. And then the last thing would be changing the number of wall loops from two to one. That just makes it so that um, on both of the, if you do two layers, both of the layers will just have one wall loop. You can keep it at two, but sometimes one is enough and it just makes the infill look a little bit better. But those are my settings and let's get to the final print. All right, and now here we have the print. Uh, you want to make sure it uh, you let the bed cool down all the way before you release it because otherwise you'll permanently deform it and it's a little stuck. But here we go. Peels right off. And this is the evolution of the 3D printer, uh, 2D prints. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, have a good one. Happy printing.